How's it going? Thought I would take a few minutes and show you what Cinnamon and I have been doing with our fishing arrangement. Um, we've been trying out some new equipment from Bernawin, a place um, up north of us here. Uh, and they've uh, really got some nice products and we're going to kind of cover that. We want to show you what we discovered with them and why we like them so much. But here, let's do a quick overview of the uh, arrangement on the boat. So we have a 2011 Sea Swirl Striper 2605 walk around. And we've been out here for a couple days now. Actually, this is our third day. And uh, right now we got four pulls out doing a little trolling on a couple downriggers. And uh, what we've got here is up front, we have a couple of the rod holders. We have them flipped around backwards right now so that we can keep them out of the way when we walk up there. Um, those are in the rail mounts. We have the nice deck mounts here of stainless steel, suitable for a downrigger. We have these crazy overbuilt rod holders that we really like as well. We also have our Burnwin towels. These are nice, they clip on there. If you take off somewhere, you're not going to have them blow over the side and you can wipe your hands off, you know, get that fish scent and stuff that you're working with off. Here we've got the same mount, but we've also got the downrigger mount that's suitable for a cannon and then the adapter plate because we like to run the swivel instead of lifting the downrigger every time you want to change position I can just pull the pin and swing it around. We've also got another one of the composite vertical mounts back here and the barbecue mount for our magma barbecue which is really great. And the main thing is that we just love how reconfigurable this whole thing is. We can just take anything out of any other mount and put it in a different location, which is ex so extremely useful. But we'll cover each piece a little bit more in detail. All right, so let's do a quick rundown of what Bernawin mounts and systems are. They provide a replacement for those rod holders, which you find in so many boats, that only allow you to just park a fishing rod. But most of the good real estate for mounting something else isn't available or is already taken by these. So by replacing your rod holders with this mount, which is bolted through uh, two inches of material here, you have the strength to put a downrigger or any other accessory you might want. They have them in not only stainless, but they have them in the composite material as well. Now these can't support a downrigger, but most of the other accessories like knives or other mounts will work with this, including the barbecue. So in our case, we have also a composite vertical mount. These are available in stainless and also the composite. These actually can support a little bit more weight. Um, we use this one to support our barbecue. Now this cutting board that we made utilizes two of the composite mounts. One for a Bernouin knife, which is really nice, has a locking release and the knife rotates, but you, you're not gonna lose it. And then we have a regular rod holder here, which we use to hold our net um, until we're ready for it. Uh, Bernouin has some really nice uh, bait tables available on their website, but this boat already had one dedicated here, so we replaced it with a little bit longer in the two mounts um, because we weren't able to configure the other one the same. A couple of the other accessories that are nice is this flag pole holder mount. We've used two of these to um, take then two expandable poles and build ourselves a bimini that extends from the roof and comes out so when we're done fishing we can just move the downriggers up to the front position and we just put these in, put our poles in and then strap our bimini up. We'll get you a picture of what that looks like right now. In the case when we have an open hole and we don't want to lose something um, or if you don't have drains below you can put these cover supports in these are good for those wood spars that will go across and provide a uh, lift for a cover, but they also make good plugs to keep a hole from having a rodent or anything else when your boat's in storage uh, going into the boat. There are also drain protection systems. They have the drain cap on the bottom of them and we have hoses which route any water into the bilge. Okay, 
Let's go back out on the water and see how it works. So this is Bernawin's top of the line rod holder. It's got an interesting design, looks a little crazy. Um, it only takes a second to learn to use. Basically you have a release underneath here and this clamshell design locks it. It's nice because you can actually work the pole while it's in here. It'll fit everything. It fits our uh, saltwater poles as well. They do make a rod clip that you can replace the, the standard back strap and put theirs in which will help center the rod even better. But to release it, just grab your pole and just like releasing a parking brake, pull the trigger and lift the rod up and put it back in, just set it back down. Release your parking brake, put it back in. There is an angle adjustment at the front like the other rod holders have that will let you bring it to a 45 degree angle or you can have it at the straight out. And of course, like any burn wind mount, you can turn it anywhere you want by releasing in 22 and a half degree increments all the way around. This is Bernawin's entry level, what I call, rod holder mount. And this is pretty universal. You can put anything in here. And this is nice because in this upright position, you can also put your net in one of these. So that gives you an opportunity to put a net, um, another device, a gaff, whatever will fit in there, you can use. It has their standard front trigger, which will allow the mount to stop in several positions. And of course you can always rotate 22 and a half degrees like all the other mounts. So this is Bernawin's stainless horizontal deck mount. This is the downrigger mount and then a cannon adapter plate. This thing's extremely tough. And uh, this is not compatible, though, with their horizontal composite mount. Um, that obviously would probably not work out too well with the strain that gets put on these. So you want to mount this where you've got at least a couple inches of thick deck. Um, on this boat, there really wasn't anywhere else to put one of those mounts, so that's kind of how we were attracted to the Bernawin system anyway. But we have their mount, their adapter plate, and that lets us have our swivel on here without removing it. But if you don't have the swivel, you can still manually adjust the downrigger in 22 and a half degree increments anywhere you like we just prefer to have the swivel so we can swing it around and lock it where we need to so back here we've got a composite vertical surface Bernouin mount and then we've got their really amazing barbecue mount which again will snap into any one of their mounts including the composite I believe yes because it has the uh, horizontal composite, because it has the short splines. That's kind of how you can tell. The downrigger mount has the longer one, so it won't engage on the plastic. But this is a great way to mount your barbecue, and you're good to go. All right, so in closing, the Bernawin system allows you to convert your boat to any given use for the day, which is really nice. So instead of mounting something in one place, you can move your accessories around as needed. Uh, just in the time that we filmed this video and gone out a few times, we've changed our own configuration. For example, we now leave our barbecue up on the side mount here while we're fishing so that we can have our downriggers here, which we've added a second rod holder to, a knife, our rod holder with a net. We've got another rod holder here which allows us to work on our setup while we're getting ready to drop them down. We can still use our live well and uh, we have our other downrigger. Um, when we go to configure for salt water, we'll put the RH6650 rod holders where the downriggers are so that we can utilize the surface trolling out in the ocean for tuna, etc. So at any rate, I think that you should give this a good look. Uh, if we had mounted our barbecue back here, we would have been stuck with it. But now, instead, we can move it anywhere we want at any time, depending on the circumstances. So, uh, let's close now with, uh, how about a little bit of fishing, because isn't that what this is all about? Thanks for watching.
Well done. That's a good way to start the day. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put this pole over there. So he was shallow. He would have been at 25. Huh? He was at 25. That's good. That's good. Fish.